Hey, 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 David Wowie from Another Eden Adventures. How are ya? We're getting a new free character, baby. Aisha. And is she hot or cold? What is so good about her exactly? And how can she help you to beat super bosses? Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you do, my wife may finally forgive me for all the money I've spent on this game. Firstly, why does Aisha look so different than other units? Her design is actually a grand prize winning character design from a Pixiv design contest by an artist named Garuku. Apparently, Aisha was a fire spirit salamander in her previous life, but now she serves the water palace. And because of this dual identity of hers, she is both a water and fire unit which the prize winner cleverly illustrated by contrasting the bright fiery red of some parts of her design with the fluid watery tones of the others. And here's what makes her so special. She can activate both raging fire stance or sacred water stance during the same battle. That's right, you can use either Aisha's Raging Fire Serenade to deploy Raging Fire Stance, which then increases fire attack of all party members by 50%, or use Sacred Water Nocturne to deploy Sacred Water Stance and increase the water type attack of all party members by 50%. Check what this does to her passive skills. If she's in Fire Stance, for example, she'll restore all party members' MP by either 10. 20, 30, or 40, depending on how many fire type moves are used during that turn. But if Aisha was on Sacred Water Stance instead, she would restore all party members by 10%, 20%, 30%, or 40% of max HP, depending on the water type moves used during that turn. This duality adds a whole new dimension to battles. Well, they do require a lot of thought and memory and I hate thinking and I hate remembering things. But enough about me, let's look at Jade Dragon Concerto for example, which gives a fire type magic attack on a single enemy and regenerates health 5 times. When in Raging Fire Stance, the fire type resistance of a single enemy decreases by 50%. But when Aisha is in Sacred Water Stance, it changes the attack to a water type attack as well as reduces the water type resistance of a single enemy by 50% for 5 turns. Let's then look at Eternal Rhapsody. It will inflict a large fire or water type attack on all enemies depending on which stance you're in. So if you're in Fire Stance, it will increase the power, intelligence and speed of all party members by 40%. But if you're in Sacred Water Stance instead, you'll decrease the power, intelligence and speed of all enemies by 25%. Twilight Symphony will lock Aisha into a song for 3 turns, but during this time, the critical rate and magical critical rate of all party members will increase by 100% man. And if Aisha is in Raging Fire Stance, they will add a further 100% damage to all party members with a 2 times multiplier which is nuts or when Aisha is in Sacred Water Stance it will decrease any damage received on all party members by 50%. Eternal Fantasia, Aisha's strongest attack gives a fire type magic attack on all enemies and when she's in Raging Fire Stance the power, intelligence and speed of all party members will increase by 50% for 5 turns but when Aisha is in Sacred Water Stance, her attack changes to a water type and the power, intelligence and speed of all enemies will decrease by 35%. Another skill of Aisha's that stands out is her opening prelude, which makes her a pain and poison setter. Check out my grasser guide to find out why this is useful, but the only thing is it lasts for only 3 turns. Now that we have this info, how would you use Aisha? to maximize your chances of winning in a fight. Aisha is an extremely versatile unit who seems to do everything all at once, so using her may require a lot of thinking and planning. Two examples of high damage setups you can do is put her in a team with strong fire units like Garyu and Yuan AS. Go on Raging Fire Stance to give them all an extra 50% damage Use Eternal Rhapsody to give them an additional 40% damage, then use Eternal Fantasia to give everyone an extra 50% power, 
intelligence and speed and they will absolutely rule the world. And you can use a similar strategy while in a sacred water stance with strong water units like Eva, Flamelopus and Ukwaji. But these are just two examples out of the many, many ways you'd be able to use her. With new units like Shion Alter, Alma, and now Aisha letting us alter elemental skills and weaknesses, it'll be interesting to see what kind of super bosses we have heading our way. What do you think of Aisha? Which battles do you think she would help you the most in? And don't forget to like and subscribe for more. To end this video, I'm going to play a teaser video for Aisha, for those who haven't seen it yet. Hope you enjoy. See you soon. Feels like I can do anything. I got a funny feeling in my bones. Feel the vibes, watch your spirit rise.